In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to configure Flash FXP to work with your website. We will begin by selecting from the Sites menu the Site Manager option. Once the Site Manager pops up, you can create various groups by selecting the New Group button. We will call this group Personal. You can create as many groups as you want. Here I'm going to create one more group called Clients. You can also organize the groups in a tree structure. If you don't like the placement of these groups, you can simply drag and drop the folders and place it somewhere else. Within the Personal group, I'm going to create a new site connection by first selecting the Personal folder and then clicking on the New Site button. I will give this connection a name such as My Website. I will then press the OK button and as soon as I do that, the options for this connection become available. On the address field, I will type in the URL of my FTP server. In this case, it's a fictitious domain name called mydomain.com. If your server uses a port number other than 21, feel free to modify this number to reflect that port number. We will also need to provide a username and password. Under the remote path, you have the option to establish a path to connect directly into. In this case, I want to be able to upload all my files directly into the public underscore HTML folder. So I will type that name in this field. And for local path, you can choose a local folder on your machine that either already contains the files you will be uploading or will contain them at some point in the near future. I will press this blue button to open up the Browse for Folder dialog and select Desktop. Here I will create a new folder called MyDomain.com and press the OK button. Once you are satisfied with your settings, you can press the Apply button. You can then choose to connect right away or simply close the site manager. And going forward, you will be able to connect to this website by pressing the Connect button. And under the list of options, you will see your various groups and within those groups, a list of all your connections. In this case, I only have one called My Website. I will press on that now and connect to the server. Congratulations, you now know how to configure Flash FXP to work with your website.